Hi everyone, what's up? Today I want to show you how you can integrate this function over here. Now, this may seem like a hard integral, but it's actually really easy. You just need to use one trigonometric identity, okay? So let me show you what you can do. So first of all, we want to rewrite cosine to the fifth power, and we're going to use the famous, uh, you know, Pythagorean identity, uh, Pythagorean trigonometric identity, one is equal to sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, okay? So this is a famous identity, hopefully you, you're aware of it by now. So now, I want you to notice something. Here we can rewrite cosine squared in terms of other, other stuff, okay? So, oh, well, actually one and sine squared, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do the following, cosine squared theta. Well, we know that's gonna be equal to one minus sine squared theta, okay? Now this cosine squared is kind of close to the function that we have in here. You can rewrite this function like this. So I'm going to say this will be equal to the integral of cosine times, so I'm going to say cosine theta times cosine to the fourth power theta d theta, okay? So hopefully you agree this is true. And we can, we, we can rewrite cosine to the fourth power in a very nice form that will allow us to use, use substitution. Over here we have cosine squared. If we want to get to cosine to a fourth power, well, we can just square this entire thing. So really, uh, what we can do is we can just say that cosine to a fourth power is going to be equal to 1 minus sine squared theta squared, okay? You just need to square this binomial. Now, we can, instead of writing cosine to a fourth power, we can use this. And hopefully, well, there's something very nice that happens, and hopefully you can see it. If we write cosine... We have cosine theta times 1 minus sine squared theta squared d theta, okay? So, well, for, for now, the only thing I've done is I've, I have just rewritten cosine to the fifth power into another function. So now, hopefully, you see something going on here. Over here, we have sine, and over here, we have the derivative of sine. Now, that should tell you that we can use u substitution in this case. So I'm going to use the following substitution. I'm going to say that, I'm going to make another space here. I'm going to say that we're going to let u be equal to sine theta, okay? Now that means that du will be equal to cosine theta. That's an ugly O. Let me... <laughs> okay, that's better. So you have du will be equal to cosine theta d theta. And now, well, we know of this that... We can rewrite this integral as, so we're going to have the integral now, cosine theta times d theta. Well, we know that's going to be du, so I'm not going to write that for now. Now we have 1 minus sine squared, sine, sine happens to be u, so this will actually be a 1 minus u squared squared. And now we have cosine theta d theta, that's going to be equal to du, okay? And now we have this integral over here. Now, there are many ways in which you can approach this integral. You can actually, you can try to expand it. Or, if I am not mistaken, uh, you may also be able to... No, never mind. I was going to say use substitution, but now. Nah. I think the easiest thing here to do is to just expand this binomial, okay? So, we know that... Let's, let's yeah, let's rewrite the entire thing. This will be equal to 1 minus uh, 2u squared. We have a square here, so we know this is going to be minus 2u squared. Uh, plus u to the fourth power, okay? And this entire thing times du, okay? I'm not gonna write the parentheses, you know it's the, the you know, this uh, polynomial times du. So now we can just integrate each of these terms and that's gonna be really easy because you can just use the power rule. So we're gonna get the following. So this, this is gonna be u because we have one and we know u is equal to sine theta. So I'm gonna write the entire thing now, sine theta. Now, what do we get? We have minus 2 times u squared. u squared, again, is going to be sine theta. So we have minus 2 times sine. Uh, u is equal to sine, sorry, not sine squared. So it will be sine squared theta. We have u to the fourth power. Oh, sorry. I'm actually, I actually forgot to change the exponent here. <laughs> we have the power rule here. So this is actually sine to the third power divided by three, because you're integrating, so just use the power rule. Uh, this is gonna be sine to the third power divided by three. And now over here, we're gonna have plus, and this will be equal to sine to the fifth power 
theta divided by 5. And of course, you have a constant of integration over here, plus c. And you can, you know, you can try it out. This will be equal to cosine to the fifth power, okay? It's kind of long, I'm not going to do it, but this is the right answer, okay? And yeah, hopefully you see that we just simply need to use this trigonometric identity. You need to be able to notice that you can factor this out to have an even power of cosine here. And you can rewrite any even power of cosine in terms of sines, in terms of sine squared to, you know, one minus sine squared to, an, to a specific power, okay? Which is what we did here. Uh, cosine to fourth power, an even power, is going to be equal to one minus sine squared to the power of two, okay? So, and you can do that with, I don't know, if you have uh, cosine to a 12th power, well, yeah, you can also do that. It's going to be kind of long, but yeah, you, it works, okay? Uh, so, yeah, that's been the entire video. This is the solution. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, you now you learn how you can use the, this identity to solve these problems. So, yeah, that's been the, the entire thing. Bye.